everyone, it's Rami Kanaika from GospelThroughArts.com. It's a beautiful Friday. I'm excited for what God is doing in every one of our lives. God is so faithful. Today I'm, I took a day off, so that's why you look, uh, you can see I'm more relaxed. <laughs> um, so I want, I'm taking my children to Central Island. It's a beautiful island close to Toronto. And we're going to take the GO train and they would really enjoy that ride as well. And um, so many things that as mothers, as parents, we want to do for our children because we love them. And I want to talk with you about the blessing of elders, blessing of our parents, blessing of you, how important for you and me to bless our children. Jacob, who was in the Old Testament, we can see how Jacob wanted to bless his two sons. And uh, uh, we can see that how he blesses uh, the, his uh, children. In Genesis chapter 49, we can see that uh, Jacob called his sons and said, Gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in the days to come. Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to your father Israel. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength. Excelling in honor, excelling in power, tribulant in as the waters, you will no longer excel. For you went up onto your father's bed, onto the couch and defiled it. Simon and Levi, our brothers, their swords, our weapons of violence. Let me not enter the council, let me not join their assembly. For they have killed men in their anger and hamstrung oxen as they pleased. So we can see go, uh, going, going and on, on and on. Jacob, Jacob calls his sons and some he would tell about their future and some he would give a blessing and some he would not give a blessing. For Judah, he says, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son will bow down to you. You are the lion's cub, Judah. Your return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down, like a lioness who dares to rouse him. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he whom it belongs shall come, and the obedience of the nations shall be his. He talks about Jesus as well. And we can see Zebulun will live by the seashore and become a heaven for ships and iska is a raw-born donkey lying down among the sheep pens dan will provide justice for his people and gad will be attacked by the band of raiders asher's food will be rich naphtali is dust is a door set free that bears beautiful fawns Joseph is a fruitful vine whose branches climb over a wall. With bitterness, archers attacked him. They shoot at him with hostility, but his bow remains steady. His strong arm steady, stayed limber because of the Lord, hand of the mighty one of Jacob, because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel, because of your father's God who helps you, because of the Almighty who blesses you with blessings of the skies above, blessings of the deep springs below, blessings of the breast and the womb. Your father's blessings are greater than the blessings of the ancient mountains, than the bounty of the old age hills. Let all these rest on the head of Joseph, on the bow of the prince among his brothers. Benjamin is a renovous wolf, in the morning he devours the prey, in the evening he devised the plunder. So all these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father said to them when he blessed them, giving each the blessing appropriate to him. So it shows how important as you, as mothers, as fathers, as aunties and uncles, as friends to bless one another. The blessing that you speak has power. The word that you speak over someone has power. We can see just as Jacob spoke to his 12 sons, it happened the way he spoke because God was with him. God was with his words. So a blessing from a parent is so important. A blessing from an elder is so important. Blessing from a friend is so important in your life. 
Today I just got a call from one of my aunties that I love dearly in my heart. And after we finished talking, she blessed me, blessed me, blessed me. And almost tears came to my eyes hearing a blessing from a, a single woman who didn't get married. She looked after me when I was small and she passed her um, uh, age of marriage because she was looking and taking care of others. So the blessing of that kind of a person is such an important thing. And you and me, brothers, we love Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit lives inside of us. So let's call on our children and bless them. Let's call on our grandchildren and bless them. Let's call on our friends and bless them. Let's call on our seniors, our grandmas, our uncles, our aunts, our mothers. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them today. Whoever you talk with today, bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless them that they would have good health. Bless them that they would be strong. Bless them that they would be wise. Bless them that they will be favored. Bless them. Bless them today. Let's pray today. Father, we thank you that you have given authority to us, your children, because we are your children, that we can bless people around us and not curse them. Lord, give us words of love. Give us words of blessing so that we will speak blessing over our children, our children's children, our generations to come because you are faithful. You are good, Lord. You keep blessing us daily. You speak blessing over and over again from your word to us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible is full of blessings from our God, our Father who loves to bless you and me. Is there a blessing that you need? Is there a need that you have? It is mentioned in the Word of God, and there is a blessing. I want to sing this beautiful song that Sunday one of our beautiful girls from our church sang. It's the goodness of God. Let's sing this together. I love you, Lord. Oh, your most never failed me. All my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good with every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. My brother and sister, let's speak a blessing on our brothers, our sisters, our children, our grandparents, our mothers, our fathers today. May you be a blessing. May you speak blessing instead of a curse today. Bless one another. Share this message and encourage one another. God bless you. Bye.